which tattoos literally everyone got in last year. With us today is Adam Sky. Adam is a famous tattoo artist who works in San Francisco and he can hopefully tell us how we can be original in a tattoo studio. So Adam, what are tattoos that really make you go like, please not again? Well, I don't want to slight anybody for any of their ideas of the tattoos they want to get. That said, however, there's some things that where people have gotten in the last year that are a little played out. Um, words or symbols or anything tattooed on the side of the finger, uh, arrows, infinity symbols, feathers, uh, anything upside down on the wrist, uh, bird silhouettes, which we lovingly call bird turds, uh, Roman numerals, uh, Native American dream catchers, glyphs, dandelion seeds blowing in the wind. Uh, these are all tattoos that I think a lot of tattoo artists are a little tired of doing and we're ready to move on to something else. And what tattoos are really outdated in general? Uh, well, I've fallen victim to a few of those. I've got a little bit of 90s tribal uh, tattooed on my wrist uh, right here. Um, but uh, luckily uh, I'm, I haven't uh, gotten too much of it tattooed on me because the stuff's really hard to cover. So since we have a chance to ask an expert, how can we be original in a tattoo studio? Well, right now it's a really exciting time for tattooing because tattoo artists for the most part specialize in things. Uh, I specialize in large Japanese colorful custom art. Um, there's people in my town who specialize in traditional Americana tattooing. Uh, the geometric uh, or modern tribal tattooing is a really exciting new trend in tattooing. So I recommend put as much research into figuring out who your tattoo artist is going to be as much as the type of tattoo you want to get and listen to that tattoo artist's advice and uh, don't be afraid to go with his, some of his, his or her suggestions. Well, thanks a lot for your advice, Adam. And if you want to learn more about tattoos, check out interconnection.com.